It's time to wind down this Wednesday. Coming up next week, we will celebrate Cabernet Day. And in this Wind Down Wednesday, we will have fun with this specific French wine. Joining me is Wanda Cole Nicholson. She is the principal of VinBev. Wanda, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Of and course. happy Wednesday. Happy and Wednesday. happy future Cabernet Day. I know. I love it. And, you know, we just, we say Cabernet here in America for yes. short. But it's, you know, Cabernet. Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Oh, there we go. Cabernet oui, oui. Sauvignon. Oui, Good oui. wine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, tell us a little bit about sustainable sipping items that we have here as we get ready for Cabernet Day. Of course. So first of all, sustainability is like a holistic mindset. It's an ongoing dedication to preserving the ecosystems. And your ecosystem could be natural resources, it could be your business, your community, or anything that relies on the inner workings of a bunch of different things. So sustainability includes several different practices like integrated pest management, um, you know, like reducing carbon emissions, protecting our wastewater, anything that's gonna protect our ecosystem. And you can be sustainable with wine. You sure can, <laughs> and you don't have to sacrifice quality either. I love it, well let's get to pouring, and you know, today we're gonna do a, a pour, sniff, and a drink. Yes. So, pour, sniff, drink, PSD. Yeah, we're gonna tag team this. <laughs> I'm gonna pour, Chess is gonna sniff, I'm gonna sip, let's and see. we're gonna talk about okay, it. Okay, well let's get started with this first wine Absolutely, over here. so the first, first one, one. <laughs> and I'm actually pouring this into the Go Vino glassware, okay, which love is sustainably it. produced. I'm a fan. Okay. Yes. So it is reusable. It is shatterproof, Ooh. made here in the USA, so sustaining, sustaining our communities and our economy. It is BPA free. It is dishwasher safe. Hey, I love it. And that. you can even personalize it and turn your wine glass into a keepsake. So cute. Well, where can we order these? You can go to Go Vino's website, and they can tell you love where they can check it. Them. So mm, the first one that I poured for you is the Domaine Anderson, the 2017 Domaine Anderson from Anderson Valley. It is a Pinot Noir, beautiful Pinot Noir, medium bodied, and I'm gonna let you swirl and sniff and you tell me what you smell. I have. And I'll tell you what I taste. Um, it smells not dry, I will say that. Okay. It smells strong. Very fruity. It's very fruity. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you what fruits are in here. Probably like some cranberry, some pomegranate, yes. some cherry, this some red This seems like fruits. my kind of red wine. Awesome. A little bit of orange blossom. And I'm oh. going to take a sip. Okay. Sip, because I can't do that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> How's it taste, Wanda? It tastes fantastic. Love it. Medium bodied, bright acidity, zesty, great finish, perfect food Pinot Noir. Love it. Okay. What about the next wine? Okay. So the next one is Clay Shannon. And uh, before I talk about the Clay Shannon, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Domain Anderson and their commitment to sustainability. So they do a lot of sustainable practices like integrating specific insects to come into the vineyard. And those insects help to, <clears throat> they help to pollinate and they help to eat some of the bugs that, you know, like, you know, create you know, a habit. Exactly. We don't want that. And this we one. We don't want that. It smells a little bit drier. Definitely is drier. Cabernet Sauvignon in celebration of Cabernet Day. Brought you two Cabernets. This one is from a cooler climate, so you're gonna, gonna get a little bit more of like that peppery cedar component. Yes, and you can smell full that. Full bodied. And then the next one, last, last but, but not, certainly least, not least, we have the J Hill Top from mm -hmm. J Loire Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso okay. Robles. Warmer climate, Cabernet Sauvignon, fuller body, denser, richer, with this a lot more oak. It does smell very rich, and it's yes. not as fruity, definitely. but it doesn't smell as dry as that one. So the, it is definitely has some dense fruit character okay. to it. A little bit more dryness, a lot more of like that lush fruit character, bigger tannin, um, bright acidity on the finish. And they're also sustainable as well. They do things like cover crops, energy cons um, conservation, uh, motion lights, things of that nature, all those things to kind of really to take care of our ecosystem. I love that. Well, a lot of great resources. way to celebrate sustainable wines, three wines for you. And we'll make sure you have access to all that information on our website, Studio westfield.tv. You can also show Wanda some love, give her a follow on all of those social media platforms and be sustainable this upcoming Cabernet Day. We'll be celebrating next week. So here's some ideas for you. And hey, St. Louis, thanks for winding down with us today. We'll see you right back here in just a couple of minutes.